So a lot of entertainers are very quiet about their political views. Bob Ritchie, Kid Rock, is not. But what's interesting, according to him, his views are not uncommon in the entertainment industry. They're just suppressed. We asked him, by the way, since he's a frequent golf partner of former President Trump, how'd you first meet him and what do you think of him? And above all, what do you think of Tony Fauci? Here's more of our extended interview with Kid Rock. Where'd you meet Trump? Let me Trump. Oh, got, at the White House. Was oh, Sarah Palin? Oh, at the White House. Yeah, no, Sarah Palin asked him to. Uh, I was friendly with her, and early, right when he got elected, he invited her to dinner and said, "Bring some interesting people." So she said she called me and and Ted, uh, Ted Nugent, and was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> ended up there. We ended up becoming buddies and spent a lot of time at a golf course now. And really weird. Get phone calls from him and stuff. It's just kind of mind blowing. What's he like to play golf with? Awesome. So much fun. <laughs> really? Why? He just knows how to have fun. Doesn't take it too seriously. Yeah. You know, he's engaging. It's just, it's just you're just cutting it up. Just open with politics. I Man, I was there with him one day when the, he ended the caliphate. He wanted to put out a tweet, and it was like, I don't like to speak out of school. I hope I'm not, but that's <laughs> something like he's like, tell him like, yeah. The tweet was, and I'm paraphrasing, but it was like, you know, if you ever join the caliphate, you know, and try to do this, you're gonna be dead. He goes, what do you think? I go, awesome. <laughs> like, yeah, tweet that out. <laughs> I was like, I can't add anything better than that. But then it comes out and it's very, it's reworded and more political and like, you know, a little politically correct. And I'm like, just being pretty, you know, we're looking at maps. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, am I supposed to be like in on the <laughs> I make dirty records sometimes. I'm like, what the I do it here. You didn't think you'd have a hand what in it. What do you that? think we should do about North Korea? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to answer this. <laughs> how does he, how does he, so you're, you're still playing golf with him down in Florida? Yeah, yeah. How's he seem? What's that? How's he seem? He seems great. He seems great. You know, after the election, it was, you know, was a little, you know, a little different there. And, but he's still the same guy. He sits down, he just cuts it up. Just starts cutting it up. It's just how sharp he is. It's incredible. And you can see now if you watch a Joe Biden interview and you watch a Trump interview, you're just like, there's, there's no comparison. Yeah. And Trump, yeah, he speaks off the cuff. I understand what it's like. Sometimes you get it wrong. Yeah. You know, this, that, and the other. But I would way rather hear somebody come from here and get it wrong once in a while than see this contrived pretty much every politician until he came along at some level. Everything was scripted. I mean, I've stood next to him in the White House and right next to him with the prepared notes and watch him read like one sentence, and then just, whoosh, let's go. <laughs> and you're like, this is awesome. Kid Rock. Kid, thank you. Great film. You like this legislation or do you hate it? Like it. You've been elected. <laughs> it's, it's been fighting for a long time. That's why I liked him from the beginning. You know, I, I said, you know, he was my guy before he even got the nomination in Rolling Stone. And since that day till now, do, 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 just <laughs> bullets coming at you, you know, from every angle. <laughs> I mean, if you had a manager who was in control of your career, he would say, you know, maybe let's not weigh in on this. Oh, I've had managers that, you know, well, manager Punch, you know, I love dearly. He told me flat out when he started to manage me. He goes, just so you know, he goes, everything you've done to this point in your career to get where you're at, I would have told you no. <laughs> well, what does that tell you? I just got to go with my heart. I've just gone by my heart and seat of my pants, tried to be a good person, you know, be educated if I'm going to speak on some things. Sometimes not so much, but whatever. I just kind of call it like I see it. We, we had dinner last night, and you rolled up in a Rolls Royce, the Let's Go Brandon edition? Yes. <laughs> so for With our, a Waffle House plate. With a Waffle House plate. So for our viewers who might want the Rolls Royce, Let's Go Brandon edition, like where, where, where can you get one? You go on this thing called Google, and you <laughs> type in, you know, car badges. Let's go, Brandon. And there's companies that come up on my truck. I got one that says White Boy Edition. And there's all these crazy things, but it looks official. So, you know, I would never drive a foreign car be driven. I used to, like, to say to myself, like, I'm so proud, you know, for how hard I work and, you know, what I charge people for shows is what I think is fair because I can hold my head high because I feel I've never made an unhonest dollar off of working man's yeah. back. And so I get Rolls Royce. <laughs> but I'm like, <laughs> I'm in Nashville, so I'm not in Detroit. So it's the same, but... It came for sale, this thing, and I had this Waffle House license plate holder forever, and I'm like, 
I need a car to put that thing on. I need to get that Rolls Royce. And then the Let's Go Brandon badge that came out, I'm like, oh, there is a heaven. I'm like, this is just too good. <laughs> This is too much fun, you know what I mean? But Without naming their names, are there, and you would know, are there other people in your business who agree with you privately? Yeah, and it was funny, during the last um, you know, election, when Trump's thing, as I had some people on his inside say it to me, they were naming off Hollywood people, and they, they kept going like, you know, yeah, they're in the closet. And I'm like, those people are all gay? <laughs> That's nuts. And they're like, no, 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 they're closet Trump fans. I'm like, oh, man, woo <laughs> I was like, that was kind of mind-blowing, you know? Like, I'm not going to talk out of school on these people. They obviously don't want to be out in the open yeah. about it for, for whatever reasons they have. But, yeah, there's, there's a ton of them. They have no idea. Me and Trump talk about that a lot. We're like, you know, they have no idea how many of us there are. You know, the vocal ones, sure, you know who they are, you see them, but they have no idea how many of us there are out there that not are, are either Trump fans or just, you know, more conservative yeah, yeah the right and the conservative. To me, I don't know to you, it's changed. When I was young, oh, the conservative was like, you know, sweaters and collared shirts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't updated my look since the 80s, okay? I'm not, I'm not quick. But you know, it was like if I said the F word when I was young, I was running out of the house, you know, because I was about to get paddled yeah. or something like this. And, you know, nowadays it's like conservatives are a little hipper, you know? It's, you know, a little more out in the open. Well, they're the people and I'm sure that'll be the headline from our... You know, the, from the left wing, I can already see their headlines on this interview. It's like, Tucker and Kid Rock's love story together. Like. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I'm a fan. No, I mean, look, I respect anyone who thinks for himself, even if that person reaches different conclusions from me. What I don't I respect is people who just sign up for the program because someone in power told them to think it. I don't respect that. Yeah. Why would you? We can, we can agree in certain levels to think each other, like each one another is a dumbass. Right, that's totally fine. <laughs> Still have great conversations, I love it. What, what's your view of Fauci? Fauci. Yeah. <laughs> you speak for many when you say that. Did, did you believe him at the beginning, Fauci? I believed all the bull at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, we were kind of shooting this documentary and I'm like so embarrassed, I'm like in here, like everyone's spraying off UPS packages and like spraying on the doorknobs. And like a couple months of that I'm like, what? It's like, so this pretty much like is, is knocking out overweight, unhealthy people. I'm like, I'm good. And so are most of my friends after people start getting it and you're like, you know, some people had a little worse than others, but it was nothing, you know, you know, and I, and I don't want to, you know, you know, throw any shine on people that had a bad time or passed away with it. It's, it's, it's horrible when, when anyone's lost. Um, but to me, I was like, this is some bull and all this mask. You know, one day it's, it's just the disinformation that's in the world now. Yeah. At every level. That's for sure. You no, know what to believe. So there's a man who talks and lives like you might talk or live if you were totally insulated from big companies and could afford it. So it was a fascinating experience spending a couple days with Kid Rock on his property in Tennessee. All for a documentary we're making for the Tucker Cross original series coming out this summer gonna be good. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.